Hello, greetings. Uh, I got timed out from this Indian Xmas and Sahils because Adam and the Christian now are dominating uh, the YouTube uh, live streams of ex-Muslims, some of them where they can. So I said, Adam, what Muhammad did and what your Old Testament, who are you to speak against Muhammad, right? So they've timed me out there. A Christian came and said, come, uh, get out of this, leave this uh, stream. I said, when the moderators and when Sahil Bai will, and they did time me out. So I'm glad with a lot of pleasure I left that. But is this fair? Now I found uh, these, uh, now I've been realizing more so that uh, these Christians, some of the Indians whom uh, Hindus they converted, uh, they're even scared. They're not coming out and saying it out that publicly that uh, they are no more Christians. Uh, this channel, Indian channel, the Festival of Bharat, has uh, given me this news. And uh, you can verify it here. I've, uh, I'm showing you. So are these... Uh, because, you know, uh, they're very cleverly, I've written there in the comment that these Christians are clever and dominating. The brainwashing in such a manner, okay, the uh, these uh, Mughal type and all the Muslims now, uh, we got it in Karachi, we, we've got it in the Muslim world, a uh, Sunni-dominated uh, uh, Muslim world. Shias and uh, got it from the Christians to at times uh, right but uh, uh, so they I've seen that uh, what they say about uh, our Imam Ali and all this I'm a former Shia uh, so uh, the the thing they have against Islam is that uh, you know, it's a sword thing. It was uh, Islam uh, spread through the sword. And so whether you talk about Imam Ali, or whether you say Imam Hussain, it's all the same. So the Christians, uh, I got a, I had to bear the brunt because of my, uh, this case in Karachi with the te Christian teacher, I adored a lot. She told she was uh, she was quite uh, sensible and wise. She told me uh, that uh, she she was uh, half uh, Catholic and half Shia. But later on, when I got to know the other people, so I realized these other Christians like uh, would not understand a mourning for Imam Hussain and that why we commemorate it and if a birthday comes uh, we don't uh, since that person is alive so why don't we you know uh, leave our mourning Imam Hussain's time like if it's Maharam and Safar why don't we leave that mourning and celebrate their birthday or join them in wishing them, uh, you know, on their birthday. So, I mean, uh, I used to keep quiet. Now I'm answering back. Uh, that, uh, they, like, uh, even if it was my, my birthday or my mother's birthday or my father, my father's birthday, we don't know, but my mother's birthday, uh, uh, during Maharam and Safar, we would uh, not uh, celebrate that. So I would feel guilty and uh, feel uh, keep quiet about it. Like I would start to wonder what, uh, what if, uh, yeah, uh, like, you know, at times like, okay, we are being unreasonable. Uh, this is our religion, it's not their religion. So when they are celebrating during ma our Maharam and uh, Safar, 
we should join them. Like for example, let's say if some uh, Sunni Muslim here in Dubai, let's say if uh, even our national UAE, UAE National Day is let's say on uh, uh, during Muharram and Safar. So what we would do, Shias, is uh, that we would not celebrate UAE National Day. Some, some can if they want, but I wanted to remain very, like, uh, you know, <coughs> as a Shia, some don't. Some are very sincere and they would not uh, celebrate the UAE National Day if they are Shias. Some may go and do, the, uh, do uh, and celebrate and, you know, put it on Facebook, now the social media, and say congratulations to the sheikhs and all, uh, uh, like maybe Hussain Sajwani here, uh, but uh, uh, some Shias don't. So, um, you know, feeling guilty about that. So the point here is that uh, not only this, uh, we got it from the non-Shia Muslims questioning us about our religion, Shia Islam, but also some Christians questioning about this, questioning us that uh, why do we mourn for someone who gave his life, okay, but now we are, um, you know, in friends or uh, like someone's uh, joy, uh, you should uh, celebrate, you should come over and you should share that happiness with them. You should be a part of your friend's happiness and leave your religion aside at that moment. And I also feel that uh, the Christians don't have the right now to talk like Adam on Sahil, ex-Muslim, but he said this Sahil guy is allowing him and maybe now, you know, the thing may be that I'll feel guilty, I'll go back, I'll contribute something because they've said I'm out of the topic and I, I said, yes, I may be out, but they timed me out, so my comment didn't go there. Sahil Bai, this guy, Indian ex-Muslim, is also sucking up to Adam and Christians. Christians have no right to talk against Muhammad. If you, after ex-Muslim, you've become a Christian, and you've been with Sam Shamon and told me, You've agreed to him, you've kept quiet, that means you have allowed him to say things against me. And here, after I leave, they time me out, someone has said, she's talking BS. Now that guy was, uh, that comment went on Sahil, this guy's Indian ex-Muslim, live chat comment. I saw it. So after they time me out, they allowed this person to say, Check out uh, Zahra Jawad, Radha Rani's uh, channel. She is a BSer, like she's bullshitter, and all this. So these Christians and their thugs are all over the place, especially on Sahel ex Muslim Indian channel too, with Adam. Adam has been inviting these people. And not only that, Sahil is with him. Very unfair. Uh, don't you think this is unfair? And uh, on Monica Sharon's, I will not apologize. I apologize once I went on her live stream and I said that these Christians think too much of themselves. I don't take it back anymore. I, I meant what I said. These Christians, they're very cleverly, uh, the way they did it, uh, they're very cleverly doing missionary work and converting people to Christianity. So uh, their thing is, you know, they uh, kind of sugarcoat everything and Jesus, love, peace, and all this. However, I've seen through like when I went, I was doing my research a long time ago in Karachi, I had the Bible also with me. Not only online, but it's been a long time. I've had the Bible with me. 
but not now because I left my residence country uh, some eight years ago and came to uh, my father's country, UAE. I was living in my mother's country, Pakistan. Anyhow, so now I don't have the Bible, only online. And I know I, I've read the Bible a long time ago. Another thing was that uh, I was uh, discussing this with my fam some family members. Even here in Dubai, a very good cousin of mine, who was always, uh, when he was a child, like uh, he was on justice and, you know, he loved my mother and respected my mother a lot. And so thus her children, uh, he was very good with us. So I was like pointing out that, uh, you know, we, we Shias, uh, we haven't done uh, the kind of work that Christians have done in Pakistan even. And I was feeling guilty, like all that backlash from the, you know, and uh, my thing that uh, Miss Hysteria Dissa, uh, how they had made me go to that poor lady, like separated me, so I'd gone like out of my, sometimes, uh, you know, just going there, trespassing and all this and feeling extremely guilty and like a convict. Although there was a time I told her, why don't you call the police on me? So she said, if I had to call the police on you, I would have done it a long time ago. So that lady suffered uh, because of some person in our family or someone jealous person who doesn't want my life to settle down, be good, you know, be a good person and all this. That's what I was told in London too. So I felt guilty and all this and the so in the Christian community, in her Christian community, uh, some someone questioned me about, you know, these things made me feel guilty. And then over the years, I felt guilty that I couldn't be of help to people and how I've turned out trespassing, going to that lady I adore so much. I felt so guilty. Uh, so. Uh, I cannot uh, express it here. So all this on me and then, you know, answering those Christians who were questioning me, I could not. So, um, like, I told my cousin, like, uh, I haven't seen Shias, uh, like these Christians in Karachi, or, uh, you know, like Sister Gertrude of da Darul Sakoon, and uh, Dr. Faw of uh, Marie Adelaide Leprosy Center, and uh, who else? Uh, Mother Teresa of Calcutta. So, haven't even seen the Hindus, but I was talking about myself, my Shias. So, my cousin here in Dubai said that if they only allow the Shias to, <laughs> you know, uh, do. <laughs> Uh, they killed the Shias, so uh, you see, they uh, recently, before coming here, uh, no, uh, some years back in Karachi, I heard that they were k going after uh, Shia doctors and, you know, talented people to kill them. And uh, someone who was very active in, uh, was killed by the Sipai Saiba. So yes, maybe they haven't allowed us. Although uh, the Hakim family, they have charity and all this, like educational, we're more on the educational side. And before that in Karachi, we had a very good orphanage of Habib, the Shias, right? Habib family and schools of Habib family. But somehow we've been uh, lagging behind and uh, don't know why, like good, I've seen uh, in our Shias, our, like my mother, like uh, her sister, one sister, good turning into bad. So it reminds me, like later on, Anita Baker and James Ingram's song came, right? Uh, when you love someone. So take the memories, I can't stand to see what once was good go bad. 
And then I've even wondered myself on my own uh, that, you know, the Sunnis say that we are kafirs and mushriks. So maybe we are being punished by God. I used to wonder like this, uh, that we're bad people, right? We are unfor- we do unforgivable sin. That's in the Quran, shirk is sin. Uh, taking anyone with God is uh, an unforgivable sin. But then I used to think, no, no, but then Mother Teresa, I mean, uh, according to these Sunnis and even us Shias, you know, like shirk, taking Jesus Christ as God is shirk, uh, as we understood it at that time. However, not when you now take those verse, that verse in particular about monks and all, and if you put it right as it is, then you can take uh, Jesus Christ as Lord. So I wondered that uh, if uh, from the non-Shia Muslim side, uh, since they're telling us maybe we are, but then the, but then how far these Christians have gone to help out and you know, how they work and they have all the energy and our energy Shias and we've deteriorated. Even the printing thing I've seen in the printing and, uh, you know, even in help, like we're not organized, where is our Imam? Even the Ismailis are well organized. Uh, our Shia Ismailis, His Highness Aha Khan. And I've never ever, um, I heard about him, but we don't go saying things against our Ismailis or anything. We've just uh, come to terms with it. Never ever say anything bad to him. I at least don't. Or, you know, something like. So I've just, I kept wondering and wondering and not forming any, that's why I couldn't form any conclusion that this Imam, His Highness Aga Khan, is a false Imam or he's impure or he's something like this. Because I would just get so shocked you know, fear of God and I wonder, wonder like they say, Ya Ali Madad there. Uh, so how could this be? So I kept wondering. So I never uh, said anything uh, bad in my heart or to anyone about His Highness Aga Khan, the Ismaili Imam, as a present this moment too. He's 84 years old. So while I've kept wondering, there were people, so I I don't, I cannot, my therapist once said that you cannot take responsibility for what your father is doing. So you don't feel guilty. But I I found it hard to cut that umbilical cord or that uh, blood thing. You know, I was, at times I would feel that no, my father should not say this or... uh, all this, right? Uh, or my mother shouldn't say this, or I should. So it's hard for us because, you know, we were in Anita Baker and uh, James Ingram, that song again. Like, uh, you know, we've never been able to separate what was the, uh, my parents and what was mine. What uh, we've. So I've been grown up like this, using my father's things, putting his shirts on, and you know, like we've never, or using his mobile, but before that is when he got married and officially told us, or we found out on our own, uh, which was a shock, another betrayal shock. Uh, so, all this, okay, and uh, so they're on Silex Muslim, now they've got me timed out. Uh, do they think that, I hope I won't be stupid now, Forgiving people and going there and contributing in uh, kind. Huh? So let them do what they want to do. But I think these people, even these ex-Muslim people like Sahil, he's giving unnecessary importance, undue importance to Adam. And uh, I'll never go there again. I shared his live stream on Facebook. I removed it now. 
as they've timed me out, but they allowed another person, person to say that, and he, they even called a Christian, a Christian came there defending Adam. Uh, so you know why I'm out of the topic. Sahel knows this. He, if he pretends to be uh, naive, you know, so dodgy person, even Sahel, Indian ex-Muslim, is a shady person. I think he wants uh, fame. So who cares? I mean, who's going to take action against these kind of uh, covert people? Uh, they're doing it for what? And uh, they're allowing other people to say, another person to say that I'm, I'm full of BS. Look at my videos. Who is fake? Um, let me show you what here, again, if you would, uh, I don't want to sh uh, show anyone. I don't know anyone out there who is uh, completely neutral, unbiased, and who can understand the feelings of others, and who is true and who is false, can discriminate between who wants name and fame, who wants money, and who doesn't. I wonder, because there are very few people, I don't know who to trust. So if you're following me, and you're one of them, please don't follow me. I don't want uh, these kind of people who trample on people to get their own things, crushing people down, putting false accusations, not helping people on the right who is on the right, like Sahil Bai, not giving them a chance here. Whether I'm out of topic or not, using Adam, and Adam is coming there. Uh, uh, and uh, doing all the talking, most of the talking Adam does. So you've put this guy who allows Sham, Sam Shamon, these Christians, to falsely accuse us. And we don't have a platform. We need to go there on some other topic and say things and then feel guilty and then made to feel guilty. So this is the test, right, for me, to see how these people, they don't do justice. They will never be able to do justice. I don't know what they are up to, these ex-Muslims like Sahil and Adam, a Christian ex-Muslim, is he, or is he a Christian from Pakistan, disguised as what? So, no, I will not allow Adam to speak against Muhammad Sahab or Bibi Fatma Tazahra or anyone. And with, uh, with that, yeah, he's quite uh, Nazubillah, Nazubillah, if Bibi Fatma Tazahra was. But the thing is that against a common person here, there he knows that he's now in the, uh, you know, so they know how to talk. They know that. They have to respect the daughter of uh, Muhammad and Muhammad. So is it a, all a, a pretense, a show? And behind our backs, they're laughing. Okay, so hypocrites and cowards, uh, you should give platform to those now. I'm wondering, like, when these Christians and when these ex-Muslims, they have live streams, they have these so many followers, we can't say anything against the Old Testament. On our YouTube, we can. On our channels, we can. But there, I was like, please, let me explain. If I was to expose this, uh, this one, if they had allowed me, it would have been exposed that it is. They are wrong, and they are shamelessly going liars. Uh, they're not correcting their new t Old Testament. They cannot correct it. How can they correct the Old Testament or the New Testament? And then they're saying that uh, Islam, the Quran has not changed. You people have not changed. They themselves cannot correct their New Testament or Old Testament Bible. So to take up, bring out these clever people, I feel like a criminal culprit, my, uh, but I'm not. 
So, uh, yeah, sometimes, you know, you have to be very clever. It gets to me. And they gaslighting, gaslighting. So I cannot stand gaslighters. I think we should give a platform to those whom Sam Shamon and these Christians have abused and falsely accused. And is there anyone there, man enough, fair, square person, to give these underdogs uh, like us a platform? Okay, on our channel, but not to go. Now Sahil, this guy, has also timed me out, but allows another person to say she's talking BS. I'm under this condition. I cannot even uh, properly show you. This guy, ex-Muslim Sahel, or was it uh, that, uh, give, you know, if uh, this money and all this will go to, we can buy good things. Was it ex-Muslim Sahel? Sahel's channel, long time ago. Like we can buy, um, so if you contribute, then we will, we can make more better live streams. And uh, someone's voice was not uh, like coming clear. Uh, the person who was in uh, uh, the owner of this channel or live stream, somewhere maybe some other, dis no no dystopia to reason. Anyways, I've tried going to live stream, Sahil, okay, but he uh, his uh, thing is always uh, he doesn't allow that to me. I don't know what he has against me, but it didn't show like uh, they told me like you don't. But comments like that because uh, you know you're out of that I can see that I was out of the topic and I'm a good uh, no I'm not going to go and uh, give anything there anymore um, I've cut I, I have even you can see I haven't subscribed to his channel I unsubscribed since uh, Adam is always there and I don't think it's fair to the underdogs they've made of uh, us and falsely accusing us. And he, uh, they are with them because they've uh, kept silent about against Sam Shaman. They're sucking up to these Christians uh, who are backed by the Western European world. So in a way, even this sophisticated way uh, and uh, terrorism, this is, a, uh, this is a very, very clever way of doing it. You see, Muslims, no one would love, everyone is scared of Muslims, these Islamists. They're giving a bad name to Islam, but these Christians, I mean, they could be using, in front could be a Muslim, but at the back, someone is paying to give a bad name to Islam, so they, they can go and kill people and call themselves Islamists. Because in our religion, we, we terrorism does not go with Islam. In Shia, if you take it as a Shia and in context, the Quranic verses, terrorism does not go with Islam. Uh, so I, I will, uh, I've, like, I can show you that uh, the way we were, Imam Hussain, gave his all to save the army of Yazid and to save this religion, which was to help others and guide others, and that we won't have these leaders that even democracy doesn't give us. Democracy has failed to give us leaders. Uh, Dr. Deepak Chopra was saying in America once on his video that these con men, these uh, you know, politicians in America, these, the president, these are all like, what did he call them? Uh, you know, all uh, like from the cr criminals, criminals. So where democracy has failed, this is what the Shias have been saying. You can't even take someone from outside uh, who God has not vouchsafed. The Sunnis fail to understand this, and they've given the Shia, they've given Islam a bad name, and they're saying we are giving Shias. Uh, my past uh, religion has given Shia, uh, 
uh, has been giving Islam a bad name. You see, the gurus also of India and all this have failed to help us. Uh, I heard Malhotra, Rajiv Malhotra, uh, talking that they now, what is Hindu Tattva? Hindutva, sorry. What is Hindutva and why they need to be more assertive? And it is for equality, not super superiority. So this is what our Shia Islam was not for uh, the caliphs to become superior to others, but equal, like Imam Ali used to keep himself. When he was a caliph, and uh, how he used to help people, the poor, you know, in the night, go out and search anyone in his area, should not uh, go hungry, should not all become equal and all are equal and uh, the letter he has written to, written to Malik Ashtar when he has appointed him as the minister or something oh so you can read that I think it's in Najil Balagha the letter of Imam Ali to Malik Ashtar and George Jordak has written the voice of these, no one has come. See, nowadays, these democracy people also, secure voice of human justice, I think. The voice of human justice by George Jordak. He was a Christian. He wrote this. When I told uh, our Christian, uh, she started to laugh. You know, uh, so, mm, so, <laughs> I, I gathered that these uh, Christians, some of them, uh, they think too much of themselves. Like, they think they're, without reading this, she started to burst out laughing on my face about, you know, telling her about this. Huh. So, uh, this world and it's you are very very clever people huh Sahil Indian ex-Muslim Adam and Sam Shaman Rob Christian and Christian Prince very clever people cunningly clever <laughs>